Hey guys, Chad with de Blasio Photography uh, with another vlog entry for Photography Awesome Sauce. We've had a lot of questions come in about the lens correction tab, so we wanted to take a minute and just show you guys quickly. I'm going to try to do this under 10 minutes just to show you how to use this lens correction tab. So if you don't see this lens correction tab when you're in your develop module up here at the top, you can hit the D, that'll take you to develop. Just right click in the tabs on the side, you should be able to see all the ones that are um, available. Solo mode means it's just going to just have the one that you're working on open. Um, sometimes that is effective if people get confused or they don't have a huge screen size to scroll up and down. Um, I tend to hate it because I, I forget that it's going to open and close ones, and I like to leave them open, so I just scroll up and down. But if you don't see it, that's why. Um, also, you can turn it off if you don't want to be able to use it. So um, any of the any of the tabs, I don't know if you knew that or not, but any of the tabs, you don't have to zero this out. You can just literally turn it off. Uh, right there and it will stop doing whatever you have corrected in that tab um, if you don't want those adjustments to be made. Okay, lens correction. We have four tabs under this main tab, so we're going to quickly walk through those and show you what they are. Um, the basic one is the basics. It is the, the profile and it is the vertical and horizontal adjustments. So profile corrections, as you can see in this one, it's going to change the distortion of the lens and it's also going to change the vignetting of the lens. Now. I like to leave this on, and I make that part of my presets here in the right hand or the left hand side. So if you see most of any of these presets that I click, you will see that this tab being checked is part of that preset, right? It's going to change the coloration a little bit. It's going to change other things about the photo, but it does not change that this is clicked. I have that as part of my import because it's a step I don't want to have to do on my own. But this part down here, which is the vertical and horizontal adjustments, is not part of my adjustments that I do automatically. What this does is if, you're, if you've got a picture uh, like this one here at the beginning with the door, um, we're going to reset this so that I can show you. I've already played around with it a little bit. But if you have a photo like this that is a little crooked um, from the beginning, maybe this one. Yeah, it's this one. This one's a little crooked from the beginning. You see we can see how the, the edge of the door is kind of um, slanted. What we're going to do with these is it's going to automatically look and see how it can straighten uh, vertically and horizontally. Um, it's going to do that for you. So I'm going to hit auto and you should see it's going to straighten it right up. Now in order to straighten it up the way that it thinks it needs to take it further than it can do inside of the frame. So it's going to have these white spaces around the edges. Hit the R button for crop. Hold the alt button um, and that will grab all four sides at one time. If you want to just do one side at a time, just grab this side. But if you hold the Alt button, it'll do all four at the same time. Um, and then we can scroll that into where we have picture in the whole frame. Okay, so just as a before and after, this is our before, uh, this is our after. And what all I've done is applied a preset, brightened it up a little bit, enabled the profile corrections, and automatically analyzed it. Now, if you want it to do just one of the uh, one or the other if you wanted to just level it you wanted to just vertically level it or you wanted to correct the perspective like let's say you were shooting a building and it was kind of stretched skinnier towards the top this will try to in the best way that it can automatically analyze that and change it for you so that's a really helpful tool rather than going through and, and cropping adjusting changing all these things automatically um, one of the ways you can do this on your own is to hold the command button you'll see that little level pop up you can just drag a straight line down the side of this door and it will straighten it according to that door. Um, that's a quick, sh quick shortcut too, but I like to start here because I don't like going through all that. Now, one of the neat things about this is if you have a s uh, series of those photos where the door is all crooked, um, say this one here also is a little crooked, I'm going to hit Command Sync. Uh, that's Command Shift S for those of you who are in the, pre or in the uh, shortcuts flow. I'm going to have lens corrections with our up right transformation selected and that's going to synchronize not the wrong photo that's going to synchronize not only the photo colors uh, and the the adjustments that I've made it's also going to enable those profile corrections with the vertical corrections to be made so that we can go over here now and you'll see that this one is straightened up automatically now I need the same thing with this one I have to crop it down a little bit but it did straighten it um, adjust adjusted it based on what Adobe sees as the straight parts of this picture. Okay, now it didn't get it exactly right in my eyes, so I'm going to go ahead and straighten that up to the door. Um, but it's a great tool. A lot of times, if you have some some very um, obvious horizon lines, or if you have some very obvious vertical or uh, horizontal lines, you can use this tool to to analyze for you. Okay, 
The next tab over is the profile tab. Now this one, um, I shot with a 100 millimeter. It's not automatically showing up for some reason. Oh, there it is. I just clicked enable. Um, it's so that's what it thinks it should look like distortion wise and color wise. Um, I'm going to click that and unclick that just to show you the difference without and with. It's going to brighten up the edges. It's going to it's going to change the distortion a little bit. Now the 100 millimeter is a really a fairly true distortion, so it's not really going to change the distortion too much. I like to pull this distortion or this vignetting down just a little bit, maybe closer to 70 on the 100 out of uh, color, so I can show you the difference between straight out of camera and with those two corrections made. Applied the preset and then. Um, the profile correction with the 100. Okay, um, very simple. If you don't see your lens listed, you can do a custom uh, up here at the, at the top. Um, this is going to change it to custom because I'm changing the, uh, the vignetting. But same thing, I have this with this vignetting pulled down a little bit as part of my preset. You can um, choose your lens through here. They've got most of the major brands. Okay, um, color. If you have an image, I don't have any that are in this one that are very fringy, but if you have an image that has some color fringe to it that's that's giving you some problems with um, the purple around the edge of their face or around their body if you shoot more towards the sunlight, um, you're, it's super easy way to do that is rather than going in here and trying to mess with all this stuff is just click this little uh, eyedropper tool and then hover over the picture. You'll see the tip changes color, but it also shows you in the pick a fringe color. Um, it'll, I'm going to try it on this little pur uh, like purplish red part of her arm and what that does is it'll it'll change the fringing amount how much of that it's going to take out um, based on what the eyedropper is seeing so this is a great tool um, for doing an you know pull that color out or use the um, use the healing brush or any of that stuff this will do a really really fantastic job right off the bat if you just click it pull it over there and click on the tab now just as a before camera and with those couple adjustments made we did pull the color down a little or the, the temperature down a little bit too but that is really what this color tab is about is it, it helps kind of change some of the problems that happen with the lens um, when you're shooting into light or harsher light you get some of that fringing um, the manual tab is if you don't want Adobe presets to do those things for you, you can go in here and change any of those things yourself. So if you have, you know, if, you're, if your lens is a little fish-eyed out and they look a little bit thicker or rounder than they should, go in here and pull your distortion down and slim them out with, with what the lens should do. Now you will notice that some of these adjustments do leave this white trimming around the edges um, because it's pulling the image further inside than, of the frame than what the image actually is so there's no information there you just have to go in here and adjust that crop so that those are cropped out um, but that will that does give quite a bit difference uh, quite a bit of difference in this before and after in just the the way that this transformations look um, and and that tab allows you to do all of that stuff all on your own so that's with that distortion change just kind of pulls basically what it's doing is pulling the, the center of the image back away from you um, in distorting it or the other way Kind of fish eyeing it out. So if you want to, if you want to use some of that to your advantage to make some some kind of fish eye looks, uh, or to to do some of that kind of stuff, um, totally easy to to use your um, lens correction tab for that. So those are the four basic tasks of the lens correction tab. The most often used ones for me, anyways, are this profile correction and then a, uh, the analyzing the vertical and horizontal corrections. So. Hope that helps you. If you got any direct questions, feel free to shoot me an email, chad at deblasiophoto.com, uh, or you can see my link to my Facebook page and my profile below. Um, hope you guys have a super awesome weekend, and we'll talk to you soon.